are you is that me or you are you okay okay all right, it's Imar Sopatu with the Sports Inquirer. We're here with head coach of Georgia Tech men's tennis, uh, Kenny Thorne. Coach, thank you for joining us. And just overall impressions, how has the season been going so far for the Yellow Jackets as year we enter the month of February? Yes, Marcel, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be on. Um, yeah, we're getting started. We, uh, we had a, a MLK weekend of a uh, few teams in that are very, very tough teams. Uh, didn't count for team rankings, but kind of an individual. And uh, so we, we kind of do that each year. It's a nice way to honor Martin Luther King, as well as uh, to get our guys ready for the season. And uh, we had Illinois come in, North Carolina and Columbia. And so we, we played uh, Friday or excuse me, Saturday, Sunday, and then uh, Martin Luther King day. And uh, it's a, uh, it's a way to kind of, jump in the fire without taking, you know, anything uh, to the team. It, it counts for individual rankings. So it was good. It, it kind of got us going and then uh, had, a, had a couple of matches at Georgia State and um, Citadel over the first weekend. And uh, each year we, we seem to get better as the season goes along. And uh, we got to, we, we, with our schedule, we got to get better fast. So I think we're doing that, but uh it's, it's going to, we got a good weekend ahead of us to see uh, how far along we've come. Yeah, how, how do you assess that as far as uh, uh, how the team is progressing? Do you look more wins and losses individually or as a team or how a doubles team is doing? Do you rotate kind of your players in and out of positions? How do you handle this yeah. early part of uh, the season? Yeah, it's right now, you know, hopefully you've got your doubles teams that you know uh, you want to play for the season. You try to figure that out in the fall. Um, there's always a little uh, moving around uh, every once in a while. I mean, with injuries, different guys have to be able to play with different guys as well. So doubles, um, we kind of, you know, look at the team, how are they gelling, how, uh, you know, how's uh, – you know, we've had a team that uh, has played number one for us. They're top three in the nation right now uh, or number three in the nation. And so they've done well. We had to get a couple other teams to, to gel and they we've we feel like we've done that. Uh, but we could always move guys around. They're comfortable playing with each other. We've played with them. They've played with different partners uh, throughout other seasons. So um and then singles, a lot of times it's just looking individually at guys. Some guys are playing a lot uh, over the break. You know, a few sometimes come back and not playing quite as much over uh, the Christmas break. And, and that's our preseason. <laughs> so we're actually not with the guys. It's probably one of the few sports you have that you're not actually with your guys in the, in the preseason. They're, they're on Christmas break. They come back. And then we're playing a week later. So uh, some guys are able to, you know, keep up and, and really do a lot over that time. Some might not have as many opportunities to play. So um, it's more of an individual evaluation as, you're, as the season goes along at the beginning here. Yeah, you mentioned your your nationally ranked uh, doubles team. Uh, you just highlight them and maybe some other players that have had good starts to uh, the 2022 campaign. Yeah, we have uh, uh, Andres Martin has, has and Marcus McDaniel were had a really good fall, so they came in ranked really high uh, as as the number three team in the nation. Andres Martin came in and uh, as well did well in singles, and he's a top ten player in singles as well. And uh, Marcus McDaniel, who played uh, one for us last year, was the top twenty five player in the nation. Uh, in his first year as a freshman, which was great. And, uh, but then had a, a little bit of a tough fall and is actually playing really well now. And uh, he's, I think, 3-0 and now going in. We, he didn't get to finish a couple of matches, but uh, he's 3-0 and in 2022. So he's, he's looking strong again. And uh, Keshaw Chopra has done, uh, done a great job for us. He, he probably, he played four or five uh, last year or three four some and uh he's come out and played two for us this year and done really well he's actually uh um uh, just really relaxed into his game a little bit he's a good player great competitor great very hard worker and uh 
is uh, coming in strong towards the top of our lineup this year, this year which is going to help us a lot. And uh, he was a talented player. He, in the 16s and juniors, got, uh, you know, to the semifinals at Kalamazoo, one of the biggest national tournaments that we have. And, and he's, uh, you know, an established player. And he uh, he's just now, you know, came in pretty young into college, came a year early. So graduated a year early, which, uh, you know, nowadays you got those fifth year COVID guys and he's playing with against guys that are five, six years older than him. So he's settling into his own, which is which is going to help. Um, and as well, uh, Chen Dong is from, from Australia. He's a interesting case because he hadn't I mean Australia is all closed down over this COVID and uh, they are very very strict so he hasn't been able to go home didn't go home over the summer and uh, that's tough you get to school and you're not able to see your family and you're trying to do your best at taking care of academics and he's doing a great job of it and taking care of uh, tennis his game's been uh, really uh, improving really every every month here he's gotten better and better and uh but it's 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 tough on him because uh i mean his parents are hopefully going to come see him but at the same time uh it's just a unique situation and we're all in kind of unique times here but he's done a great job of uh being one of our better players he's he's played three and four for us this year and uh has has had some very significant wins throughout the fall and so far this year. Um, so yeah, we have Pablo Shelters. He's been playing five. Um, he played three for us last year. Could easily do that again. Um, but he's uh, he's a tough out. He's our one senior that we have this year. I, I guess of all we've we've only got seven guys on the team, but of all uh, all the of the seven guys he's our only senior that uh won't be able to uh, obviously will be finishing up after this year and everybody else could come back finish this season as well as two more seasons if they so choose so we got a got a young team out there small team seven players we're you know that's uh it, it's we got to stay healthy and and figure things out on that front but uh we got seven guys who are all in so that's a good thing yeah how do you handle that because in the a, a competition you have three double matches and six singles so i mean everyone's doing double duty i'm assuming just doing the mathematics uh, but how do you handle that roster management and then also with just the schedules constantly changing with covid players hopefully you know availabilities uh, injury wise or other how have you just balanced the schedule keeping the guys healthy physically and mentally yeah i'll, I'll let you know in may how i did <laughs> we uh we end up uh, I like we played uh, the first weekend. We held one of we played one of our players, uh, Marcus, in doubles, and then held him out in singles. Um, just not a serious injury, but we had to kind of make sure he was going to be healthy uh, the next week. And uh, we had uh, we did that against Georgia State, and you know took a chance. They're a very good team, and uh, we we did the same thing against Citadel, actually uh held a guy out and literally held a doubles team out so we uh we even gave up forfeited a match uh which you know we we're just we had to play it smart we we we've got to be careful because every team out there is good um but uh i i think there's something special about when you get you know seven guys together that are all in and practices are good and they're doing what they need to do um, sometimes you can have a lot of guys on your team and you're having to manage your roster and people lose hope that they're not going to ever be playing. So maybe they're practicing and is not quite as good. Um, but you got a team that knows, Hey, <laughs> we're counting on every single one of you and we need every single one of you doing your rehab, your, your prehab, your schoolwork, everything you, it, we're counting on you. And so no one had, can afford to to get slack. And I think there's, there's actually some benefits in that. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to manage it all throughout the year. Yeah. And now you have, as we're recording now, Auburn and South Carolina coming up this weekend, uh, two matches to a 
SEC opponents, so high caliber competition. How have preparations been going for these upcoming matches and managing that roster, as you just mentioned? Yeah, that's uh, it's always uh, important as we're in the obviously in the ACC and we're playing out of conference. We played three SEC schools um, within Auburn. We have uh, first on Friday, then uh, we play at South Carolina on Sunday. And then the following weekend, we play at or we play here against Georgia. And so, uh, yeah, those are always important in the sense uh, that besides obvious against Georgia, but uh, they're important to kind of lift the ACC. I think all the rest of ACC schools kind of cheer for each other and uh, when they're not playing um, each other. And it, it kind of lifts. So if we do well against SEC schools or any of the other schools and other Power Five conferences, uh, it lifts the whole ACC. So uh, these these three matches here are always important for us to try to go out and get some wins and and bring them into the ACC, and uh, it'll lift each of those teams. But uh, yeah, they're good. So Auburn's good. Bobby Reynolds does a great job over there. And uh, had a had a good season last year. Got the team going, and uh, so it, it's going to be. I mean, a lot of these when you're playing them and they're closer to home. A lot of these guys played against each other in the juniors. They know each other, so uh, you, you know there's not not any real surprises too much there. It's just a matter of uh, you know it, it's nice to be able to play at home. We got a good home crowd that that comes out, and then uh, we'll. We'll get a taste of it at South Carolina when we head over on Sunday, and they uh, they they have a good crowd and they they get fired up and uh, they they did a good job. They made the I think the Sweet Sixteen at the National Indoors, so they'll be heading to Seattle, and so that'll be a good opportunity for us to to hopefully steal a win over there. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll manage it, and uh, guys, practice is going well. And uh, guys are ready to play. I mean, I think, uh, you know, having this much time off in the last couple of years, these guys are, are taking advantage of every opportunity to get out on the court and compete. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate it. And we'll catch up later on in the season, especially when conference play really kicks off. Thanks, Marcel. Appreciate you having me.